we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Living God, you know everything that I say and I do. What words am I saying? What thoughts am I thinking? What actions am I doing? Are they things to receive blessings or things to receive disasters and curses? Am I saving my children or killing them? Lord, how will we be better than beasts? May this be a time that we realize you said that you'll give everything, but it's because of my sin and because of my filthy ancestors' sins that we cannot receive. Why is it that we cannot realize and all we do is grumble? At this time, may we have a correct realization. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. We will say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to, into heaven and sits on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. One Corinthians chapter ten, verse ten. Let's find that. Where is there anyone as good as God? What's right for you? That tiny grain that's given to you? That's why you can't escape from being a beggar. God gives according to your heart. But then, the thing is, once I tell you that, you try and use it anywhere. And, and then you end up doing silly things. If, if you're told, don't go this way, then you have to realize why. What, what is it about me that I shouldn't go that way? So you should hear that as, oh, I shouldn't go this way, I should go somewhere else. But instead, you hear that as, oh, don't go anywhere. So that's, then you can't do well. You know, I find it so sad. This is why you don't do well. What is faith? Faith is to know, but you don't know anything. You don't know anything properly. So how can you go to heaven? You say that you believe, but what is believing? If you grumble, you don't have faith. Because God himself will make you ruined. So how can you have faith? You think that you don't have grumbling. When you say, oh, that person is useless. Well, someone stupid will listen to that too. You should say Satan, so they can't do that. But you're the same. What is, what is correction? If you go to, if you live in, uh, if you work in someone else's house, they rebuke you. Why? Because they don't want to be disadvantaged. That's why they say something to you. So they, when they curse you, when they strike you, when you learn that, so that's actually earning money. That's why they tell you to send your children to other people's houses because you learn how to earn money. So no one wants to be disadvantaged. That's why if you're giving disadvantage to someone, straight away they'll cut you off. Why is it that you can't get a job? Because if you don't give profit to others, they get rid of you. 
You know, if you yourself would do that and you expect someone else to hire you, then you're a thief. So Joseph, when he was governor, how much did he give profit to his master? But you can't do that. Your actions, you do one thing, but then you ruin two. That's not working. God says, if you grumble, he will kill you. And yet, if you don't have thanksgiving, then you're grumbling. So what is thanksgiving? Everything around you has to be thanksgiving, but you can't thank, be thankful because you're not repenting. Everything is grumbling. So if I grumble about Deacon Kim, that means you're grumbling everyone. Because if you have a leak in your bucket, that means everything's leaking. But you don't know this. What is this time? This is a time where Almighty God is giving us blessings. He gets rid of what's wrong. And so if you if your actions don't change, your conscience hasn't been revived. That means what you're doing is, is, is ruined. So it's not just you that will be ruined, it's your whole family. So to get rid of this, we need the word. If you act completely, then you will receive all the blessings. But where am I? So if I don't know properly, you don't know anything. Let's read 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 10. Nor grumble, as some of them did, and were destroyed by the destroyer. Amen. So you think that you don't grumble. But starting from myself, out of a hundred things in a day, 99, I grumble. But if you're deceived by demons, you don't know. If you grumble because you have demons, you don't know. But the person next to you knows. But if the person next to you doesn't say anything, then that means there's no love between you. So if you're grumbling, then they should say to you, you're going the way of ruin. But they don't say anything. And they just, instead they just listen to you and they agree and say, yes, yes, that's right. So they both go the way of ruin. And yet they don't know this. Even this is at our church. You know, when I hear you talking as I go past, I think, oh, you're, you're saying things of ruin again. So when I look back at you, it's because you're saying things of ruin. So if there's someone who, who, who needs to be disciplined, I'll say to them, that's my sin. If they still don't understand, I'll say, you're acting as a demon. If you spin a top, the way you hit it is, you know, at the beginning you, you spin it. But then after that you start hitting it softly and then after you hit it harder. So, according to your faith, Romans chapter 12 verse 3, it's different. So God wants to give us all things. If you go and work at a restaurant, why do you work? It's because of money. Every person, they do it for money. They don't just do it. I don't know if the Swiss president is still riding his bike and not receiving receiving a salary to be the president. That's why people, that's why they have to rotate who the president is because no one really wants to do it. So why do we work? Because of money. But that's not a man. If you're working because of money, then you're not a man. Through that work, if you're, if you're working in order to become a man that God wants you to be, then as long as I'm doing things correctly, 
If I love God, He has prepared all blessings. So, if you've worked 30, 40, 50, 60 years and you have nothing, it's because all you've done are things of ruin. You haven't done. You, you haven't done according to the word. Even suffering for 40 years. It's when you obey that you enter the land of Canaan. You can go to heaven. But even after 40 years, there are people who still don't do well. If you go to church and you're still not doing well, there's something very wrong because God has prepared. He has prepared blessings. So each person has their blessings. Why is it that you can't receive? Because you're crooked. As long as you fix it, then you'll receive. But the biggest problem is grumbling. The more you go to work, the more you grumble. Every, everyone's the same. It's just how much difference. If you say, oh, that person, they were flattering the boss and that's why they got to that position. So all we do is grumble. You know, you say, oh, it's the boss who chose who to promote. And you say it's because that person was, was flattering the boss. No, it's God who does all things according to my actions. So because I grumble, I've grumbled against God, not man. So God says, okay, I'll make you ruined. So God himself will make us ruined. So how can we live like this? So if you come along with me, if someone grumbles, that's, that belongs to me. I did the same. It's for me to repent. So that has arisen for me to repent and to be, to be right. But if I don't realize this and I grumble, then I plant ruin again. So it's God who makes me ruined himself. This is why we don't do well. Whether it be an insect or, or a wind or the rain, who does it all? God, Deuteronomy chapter 28. It's God who stops the rain or it's God who makes too much rain. Everything God does. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 to 14. If you obey, you'll receive blessings. From verse 15, if you disobey, you'll receive disasters and curses. It's all recorded there. So if God himself makes you ruined, we do things to receive that. So if someone's truly blessed, you should exhort and say, what are you doing? But because you're the same, you don't. You just listen to it and, and you nod your head. When I look at that, it's so pitiful. So if even our office works are like that, then, you know, other people, it's obvious. So, if you're if you're receiving rebuke every day and you're like that, then what are others like? You know, if you're in elementary school year the first grade, then you you have to at least know I need a pencil and a notebook. But if you sit there going, oh well, I don't have anything. Wherever you go, if you go into a restaurant or wherever you go in, if you, if you can't see that it's a place of ruin, then you're a dog pig. You don't deserve to eat. If you can't see what you have to learn, then you're not a man. But most people, they can't see. That's why they're like beasts that perish. You have to be able to see this is a place that will do well or this is a place that's not going to do well. If you ask someone who's about 50 or 60 years old and they say this place feels icy, that means they're not going to do well. But if you don't know this, if you come in front of God's word, and you repent, you can see what does well and what doesn't. You see it all. 
So someone who receives their retirement money out of nine out of ten, they're ruined. Why? Because they invest in something that's solid and then they're ruined. You know, someone says to me, Pastor, should should I should I, you know, Pastor, you should invest in this in this property. But if you have an evil heart of a thief, everything you see is money. You know, why is it that beasts are caught? Because all they look at is food. Let's live as a man. It's because of grumbling that we're ruined. So if you grumble, God says he himself will make you ruined. But you can't escape from this grumbling. You say that you don't have grumbling? Well, if you don't have grumbling, why is it that you don't have joy? Oh, I wish, you know, they'd treat me better. Oh, I wish this would do better. That's all grumbling. If I, if I am right, then I'm able to discern all things. And you can see, oh, what, that's, that person is doing this wrong. You have to pierce someone correctly in order for that person to be thankful. Parents want their children to do well, but if they themselves are being ruined, they cause their children to go the way of ruin. You look at parents who don't live well, you see what they've taught. They've taught their children the exact same thing. So a bean will, will grow beans, or a pumpkin will grow pumpkins, but inside of Christ, this, will, this all changes straight away. So what didn't do well, you go the way that does well. So, forced at repentance, you have to do it just like you breathe, continuously. But because you don't do this, this is why you don't do well. Does God only want one person in the family to do well? No. He wants the whole family to live. So, spouses, are they two or one? If I'm right, then your spouse does well too. But when one of the spouse isn't doing well, it means that I myself am not right yet. So if one side isn't doing well, it's not because they're bad. It's through me that God wants to establish the house. It's through me that God wants to enlighten the house. So I have to do this to the point of death. So to save my family, that is good works. It's because of me, my ancestors, that the family has been ruined, but we have to win over this with joy, which is forced at repentance. Because you can see that it is that your bad spouse relationship is for you to receive blessings. All these things that make you grumble, they're things for you to receive blessings. But why grumble and go in the way of ruin? By forced at repentance, we have to change the grumbling to thanksgiving and go the way of blessings. So what is grumbling? It's to hate, murder others. So if you murder, then your children change to become murderers. So how can you do well? You you won't. You say amen easily, but that's the way you live. How much grumbling and complaining have you done throughout the day? If you don't have joy, it means you're already grumbling. If you don't wash for a few days, what does it feel like? What, what smells come from under your armpit? You know, this doesn't compare. We die spiritually if we don't do this for a, a few days. So if we grumble, that ruins me. Jude chapter 1 verse 16. If you grumble, that means you have demons inside of you. But you don't even know this and you just live. And that's why all that time that you've lived like that comes back to you as disasters. You say that you're unfortunate, but it's the disasters coming back to you. Let's live correctly. Those people who act like they're, they're smarter, they're so pitiful. What's so smart about them? God gives strength to the weak. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29. So how can you act like you're so smart in front of God? In front of the Lord, I'm the most stupid of all. That's why I have to keep learning. 
you have to learn what you hear. So when I see the way the office workers drive, I say, you shouldn't go at this time. So because they don't understand why I said that, the next time they don't go when they should. And I say, why aren't you going? And they say, well, didn't you say that last time? So in other words, they don't understand. So if I say, don't put in soy sauce, will they, next time, they end up not putting it in when you should. So that piano is the same piano for everyone, but why is it that when I play it, it's a mess? It depends on how you move your fingers, that the sound changes. That's why if when a professional play it, plays it, it's different. So why is it that we're not succeeding? Because we don't know how to do the right thing at the right time. Why? Because of grumbling. If you grumble, are you on the side of God or demons? You're on the side of demons. That's why God, he says he will kill you. And yet that's what you do. And you see if you repent. You don't even repent. You're shameless. You don't feel anything. If you grumble, behind that grumbling is hatred and murder. And you've murdered someone, you don't feel anything. You just say, oh, yeah, I've murdered someone. So you're shameless. This is really, really shocking. If, if I hate you, then I'm a murderer. There is no exception. But you don't know this and you just live like that. You don't think that you've hated anyone? This hatred comes from grumbling. Let's live properly. Let's live correctly. How? By receiving blessings, by doing more well. You say you want to educate your child inside your womb. Before that, God has already created your child according to your sins. So, what is it that my ancestors did that I I was born like this, even our faces? So, after I realized this, if your ancestors sinned a lot, then your children are born in this way. And your personality is so proud, that's why your face looks like that, and that's why your body looks like that. It happens exactly. So this is, this is the... If someone looks a certain way, it's because their ancestors had a certain job. So the Li dynasty was ruined in in 5,000 years. Why? Because they switched the order of the eldest and the second. If you don't put that first button on properly, so it's something so simple. Deuteronomy chapter 21. So even though there was Buddhism and Confuci Confucianism, no one pointed it out. No one corrected that. And even though the gospel had come into our country, because there were only fake churches, no one pointed this out. No one said to the king, you know, if you do this correctly, then your kingship will live. No one could say that. Why? Because they were selling Jesus' name. It's the same even now. So why is it that you don't do well? Because you have grumblings. So please, today, as you've complained and grumbled, you say that you don't have that. But once you grumble, you know, I grumble more than you all. So it doesn't matter who does the more. It's whether you wash it or not. So even if you only grumble once, if you don't wash it, that becomes the problem, the disease. So let's be healed. You think that you haven't grumbled. But if you don't give thanks, then you're grumbling. If you don't have joy, then you're grumbling. Why is it that you come to church and your face looks like concrete? Because you don't have thanksgiving. That means you have grumblings.
If you grumble, then God Himself will make you ruined. So if God's making you ruined, how can you do well? 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 10, let's read it again. It's so pitiful. Nor grumble, as some of them did, and were destroyed by the destroyer. Amen. So when you grumble, it's God who destroys you. So if you grumble in front of God, you look at someone who grumbles, you look at their ancestors. They grumbled so filthily. Their ancestors were betrayers, so the descendants are too. It's so pitiful. What does God tell us to do? Whatever your work is now, that's what you have to be faithful in. Many people talk about faithfulness, but faithfulness is faith. You have to be without grumbling to have faith and faithfulness. If you grumble, you look at the way that person lives. Um, you look at the person they work. If you grumble as you work, you look at the, the workmanship. Because you do it with that heart, those actions, who does it go back to? Even if you're peeling garlic, if you're doing it with grumbling, those actions are filthy. That comes back to me and my children. So how can you expect blessings? If you go to a restaurant, why is it they treat you in a way that makes you upset? It's because of what you and your ancestors have done. As much as you repent, your eyes are opened and you can see if a place will do well or not because you can't see that. So, if you go to a place of ruin, is it like with like or not? So, when you go buy something to eat, you can see who is to be ruined. It's always like with like. If you go there on purpose to learn something, then you'll go in. Otherwise, you wouldn't go in there. There are so many restaurants. If you just go past, you're a beast. You have to be able to see if that person, would, if that restaurant will do well or not. Let's live correctly. Why is it that we don't do well? Because of our grumbling. Because God destroys us. So God says he himself will destroy us. So let's not live a life of where we keep going towards ruin. If you're sitting here and you don't even know why you're here, you're just sitting there. You know, why don't you just go home and sleep then? You know whether you live or die, whether you eat up your children or not. But if you've come here, you need to sit properly and eat. It's you do one or the other. Let's close our eyes quietly. How is it that you can't even do one Bible verse correctly? What is, to, what is it to realize? Why is it that I'm not joyful because of grumbling? Those people who live alone, those people whose husbands have died earlier or, or their husbands are useless, this, that person is so arrogant. They think that they help helping us, but they ruin other people's works. They're neither this nor that. If someone asks them to do some work, they do one work and ruin ten. And so when they have children, their children are worse than that. That's someone who's filled with grumbling. That person doesn't have thanksgiving or joy. And they don't know that they're ru being ruined. If I go and work for someone, if I find it irritating, then you become someone who hinders. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 32. Why am I someone like that? Because that's what your ancestors did. All they did is gamble. You know, you went to someone else's house to get some drink who neither did this nor that wandered around, you know, trying to get get a free drink. Those descendants, they don't do well. What am I? Am I someone who grumbles? If you don't have faith, then you grumble. 
If you grumble, then you don't have faith. That's Jude chapter 1 verse 16. So why am I like this? Because it's come down from your ancestors. So does that mean it's impossible? I'm too old now. I can't be fixed. Even now, by the blood of Christ, we change. If we confess that I'm filthy, then he will help us with joy. Uh, sorry, we will be able to help others with joy. There is no disadvantage, even if we're cursed. That means we're a blessed man. If you help others by forced repentance, then you're a, and you're cursed, then you're a blessed man. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 14. Who have I grumbled today? What have I grumbled today? Is it because of money? God has prepared unlimited money blessings. He's prepared them. So do not grumble and complain. It's for me to repent and receive blessings. Let's change it to thanksgiving. So it's been 30 minutes. So it's because of my grumbling and complaining that I don't have faith and I have, I'm not able to receive the blessings that God has prepared. So whether it be your husband or your parents or your friends or my work colleagues, it's because of my grumbling, complaining that I can't receive blessings. Why is it that I can't escape from the grumbling, complaining? It's for me to repent. Today, let's change this and receive blessings. Who is it that I'm grumbling against? My ancestors, my husband, my wife. What, what am I grumbling about? These are all things that are making me ruin. Today, let's cleanse all of this. If you, if you grumble against your destiny, if you grumble against your, your luck, everything God has given for our good, why is it that we change it to grumblings and bring about sufferings? Today, let's change this. Whatever it is, it's thanksgiving. If you can't do four step repentance, you need to start by, by giving thanks, then do four step repentance. And whoever is cursing me, to be thankful to them. Whoever is making me feel with complaining, if you give thanks, then at least you start off with blessings. That person will say, Oh, I curse them. How is it that they're being thankful? So then they'll change. How am I living? Everywhere I'm going, am I unfortunate? Why are you grumbling? Everywhere you go, why is it that you don't do well? Why are you grumbling? It's for you to do well. So your difficulty is for you to change it to Thanksgiving. Let's fix our destiny. So it's only been 30 minutes. What is it that I'm most urgently grumbling about and not being able to be thankful. If you hate someone, that's grumbling. If you don't give thanks, it's grumbling. Thanksgiving is faith. Everything else is grumbling and complaining. Let's realize, Father, why is it that I don't have smiles? Why is it in my life that I don't have thanksgiving? It's because of grumbling and complaining. Today, I need to fix this. Why is it that Everyone I meet, why are like that? How much have we grumbled and complained? May we cleanse this by the blood of Christ and be forgiven. May we only give thanks. May we be victorious. May we fix our destiny. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen.